when you went to the White House and played Fortunate Son, what was that like? I mean, you have the President of the United States, blue ribbon crowd of people playing these songs that some other presidents might thought fairly offensive. Right. I have actually played at the White House for a couple of presidents, but most recently for President Obama. And that time I played the actual point uh, was the song Fortunate Son. We were playing for the veterans. We are playing uh, at a ceremony for Veterans Day, actually. To have the president of your country, your commander in chief, representing uh, all soldiers. You know, I'm, in that respect, I'm very much a, a normal person. You know, what, what do you think would be my state of mind? Well, I was a little anxious, a little nervous, certainly wanted to do a good job. There had been some discussion whether or not I should play Fortunate Son uh, at this time. I think the discussion had gone on for a couple of weeks, and they decided that it was great. It was fine. Just go ahead. But that doesn't mean everybody didn't have in the back of their mind, hmm, because no one really knows. Now, it's one thing for the president to give his blessing and smile, but it, then again, you've got all these soldiers out there. I certainly respect and honor our troops. <laughs> it's been uh, a, a, a years-long relationship, you might say, ever since, of course, I was in the military. And I didn't want to do anything or even appear uh, disrespectful or in any other way out of line. So and this was my song, which is a very angry song, uh, Fortunate Son. But, we, you know, the decision was made. And so I walked up uh, to the mic and I said something like, uh, what a, what I just a want to say, what a great country we live in. And God bless the men and women who protect us. And then uh, my drummer, Kenny, broke into the drum refrain for Fortunate Son, and I started to play the, uh, you know. Right? Um, and the whole place stood up. It was like we were all at a big, happy sing-along. Uh, and all those soldiers out there were, you know, it ain't me, it ain't me. They were just having a great old time. You know, we got done with the song, and I walked back to the, I didn't know if I would do this or not, but I certainly indeed felt this way. I went back to the mic, and I said, and I am a fortunate son. Um, you know, I, I just think it's, it's wonderful. I mean, this song was, that song, Fortunate Son, was written in 1969 at the height of a war that uh, I was ang very angry about. It was a policy that uh, young people were angry about, but they weren't angry at the troops, uh, you know. It was a very, in those days, a very complicated thought. It's a lot clearer now that, of course, we support our troops and honor our troops, uh, no matter what your political stripe might be. And so, uh, I just think it's it's an amazing testament to our, to America, to our country, to our way of life that you can perform a song like that that's questioning policies, questioning hmm, social strata, rich and poor, have and have not, military, the whole thing, uh, and yet feel very proud to do that because the song's historic by now. It's forty something years old. And I, I won't say no one gave it a second thought. We did give it a second thought. But on third thought, we decided it was all okay. And I just, you know, it just shows how our strength. Shows the country's strength. Yes. You know, I've often said uh, I was older during the Vietnam War. But after everything that happened there, I said, you know, the troops, they may, you may want to argue, they may have gone to the wrong war in the wrong place at the wrong time but they went for the right reasons. Yes. And that is, they love their country, and we asked them to go. Yes. That's why, you know, the way I feel is we, we should make darn sure that when we're going to have a war, when we're going to send our troops, it better be a very good reason. <laughs>